Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. In the video of today I will be talking about this Ross Answers question here, which says how to know the exact frame rate and angle of scan on Tartarbot. And inside it says we get an array of loads from the scan topic, but how do I know which number correspond to which angle? In our project, we want to know the distance of the obstacle at exactly 0 degree, 90 degree and 180 degree. Okay, so today we will be checking this, this question here. And for that, I will be using the RDS environment, as always. So let's go there. And I will use a Tartarbot simulation, for instance this one, because in the question he's talking about the Tartarbot robot. So let's, yeah, let's launch this simulation here and wait a, a few moments until, until it fully loads. Great, so our simulation is now loaded. Here you can see the Kabaki, the Tartarbot robot with, with the laser mount, mounted on, on its top. Excellent, so yeah, first of all, let's have a look at the different topics on the simulation. Let's do our ROS topic list. There we are. And in this case, the topic which publishes the laser is this one here, Kabuki laser scan. So we can have a, a we can do a echo to this topic. Let's have a look at just one message in this case, and you can see here the yeah the different values of the ranges array. But well, let's have a look at the structure of the message, which is the laser scan uh, message, as you will see. Oh. So I typo here. Let's topic info. There we are. So the message is this one, the sensor messages laser scan. So let's have a look at the structure of this message. There we are. And as you can see, you have different different values here. And the ones we are going to to see. Uh, for this for this exercise, let's say for this for this answer to this question, is the what well, yeah the ranges array, this array here, yeah, which is called ranges, which is in fact this one here, yeah, it contains the different values of each beam of each ray of the laser, yes. Then we have also as you can see here whoop, yeah here the angle mean and angle max which indicates the minimum angle where the beams where the ray traces start and the maximum angle in this case the minimum is minus 1.57 which is uh, half pi yes minus half pi so minus 90 degrees until uh, 90 degrees Yes, so it so it covers an area of 180 degrees. Yes, if the laser is mounted here and it's looking to that, it's pointed in that direction. The minus uh, 90 degrees will be here, and the 90 degrees will be here. Yes, so it will cover an area of 180 degrees. Yes. And well, there are other. We have other values, like, for instance, the angle increment. You can see here. Yes, but well, for now we are going to just pay attention to to this angle mean and angle max, which tells us that this laser has a covers an area of one hundred and eighty degrees. Yes, and yeah, and these ranges, 
array which contains the value of each ray trace that the of each uh, beam laser beam excellent so let's uh, let's create a very easy program a very easy uh, ROS package which I'm going to call uh, no laser values there we are okay here we have it so let's create a launch folder and the source folder very quickly and let's create here a very easy Python file. There we are. Okay, let me minimize this here. All right, so here I will copy a, a subscriber example. Yes, very easy. I'm just creating a, a, a subscriber to the Kubuki laser scan topic. Yes. And I will be calling to this callback function, which now it is empty. Yes? So, okay. I know, I know that my, the values contained in, let's open another web shell here, will be better. So I know that the values that contain that are contained in this ranges array go from minus 90 degrees to 90 degrees positive yes then if I know the number of values that this ranges array contains I will be able to know what the value related to the zero degrees to the 90 degrees which will be in the middle of the array and with 180 degrees which will be the last value of the array right so let's see this very quickly and yeah for that I'm going to just add here I'm going to use the length function in Python. I'm going to see the length of the ranges array. Yes? So let's save this and I will create a launch file very quickly. Uh, I just launch. No name, it's scan values. Scan dot by, almost done. And uh, yeah, laser values. All right. Oops. Uh, laser values. Yeah. So let's save this. And I'm going to execute this launch file. There we are. Excellent. So 720. So now I know that this ranges array has 720 values. Yes. So what can I do now? Very easy. With this information, I can come here and, for instance, let's build. Uh, value at zero degrees sorry uh, value at 90 
and value at 180 degrees. So which will be the value at 0 degrees? Well, it will be the value at the position 0 of the ranges array, right? Then what will be the value at 90 degrees? It will be the value at the middle of the ranges array, yes? In this case, it's 360. And finally, the value at 180 degrees will be the value of the last position in this ranges array, right? Okay, so let's try <coughs> this code very quickly. Let's execute it. Okay, we're having an error here. Let's see. Ah, okay. This is being ghost because, yeah, the, the values in the ranges array start at zero and they end at 719. Yeah, so that's 720 values, but they start at the zero position and they end at 718. Yeah, so that's why it is complaining here about this uh, print. Great, so let's execute this again. There, there it is, so now it is working. Yeah, the value at zero, which is infinite, at 90 degrees and at 180 degrees, which is as well infinite, yeah? The only place where we are getting a, a reading is here at 90 degrees, which is right in front of the robot, yeah? So, the value at zero degrees, it's getting the value of this laser beam here, yes? Then at 90 degrees, it is the value here, right in front of the robot. And finally, the, the value at 180 degrees will be the one here at the left side of the laser, yes? So here it is at zero degrees, here at 90 degrees, and finally here at 180 degrees, yes? Very easy to test and very simple, very simple code, very easy to understand. So yeah, that's it. I hope this video has helped you. And if you have liked the video, please subscribe to the channel and like this video because we will keep uploading content like this, talking about other topics and answering other kind of questions. So yeah, goodbye and see you soon.